Triclosan Band. Starting September 2017, antibacterial body washes containing Triclosan and 18 other ingredients can no longer be sold on store shelves. Now is it just me or does anyone else remember when America was in love with Triclosan and antibacterial soaps? Time more back to the 90s and America was going through a bit of a hygiene phase. We were stuffing antibacterials into body washes, deodorants, toothpaste, kids toys, clothing and mustard. Okay, maybe not the mustard, but everything else totally legit. Seriously, we loved it. And why the heck wouldn't we? Triclosan is a synthetic molecule that has a history in hospital surgery rooms originally helping prevent the spread of methicillin-resistant staph. Like some antibiotics, this crafty molecule kills bacteria by spilling their microbial guts. It binds to an enzyme and prevents the formation of fatty acids that make up a bacteria's cell wall. The cool thing is, humans lack this enzyme, so our human cells remain <laughs> untouched. Party's over, bacteria! So if antibacterials like triclosan are so awesome, why did the FDA ban it along with 18 other ingredients in hand soap and body wash? Here are some of the concerns. Messing with hormones. Some animal studies have indicated that triclosan can interfere with thyroid function. It's enough evidence to justify caution, but clinical studies are needed before we can figure out its impacts on humans. Antibiotic resistance. Given what we know about bacteria and antibiotics, frequent use of antibacterials like triclosan can breed harder to kill bacteria. Since bacterial baby making only takes a few minutes or hours, they can quickly inherit favorable mutations and produce strains that are immune. Okay, bacteria, as humans abuse and overuse antibiotics, many of you will die, but the strongest and meanest of you will survive to reproduce and fight. Your ranks will swell, so get on out there and mutate. That which doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. Triclosan stays on the skin for up to 12 hours after use, so multiple generations of bacteria are exposed, which makes the likelihood of a resistant strain even higher. And there's environmental concerns. Most triclosan gets washed down the drain where it turns up in water sources. UV light from the sun can cause triclosan to rapidly degrade and turn into dioxins, a substance that's known to cause cancer. In 2010, Minnesota discovered that dioxins were in lakes and water waste plants, prompting them to impose a stricter ban nine months before the FDA. Scientific studies on the toxic effects of triclosans have mixed results. So while scientists figure out the impact on humans, Here's one thing we do know. There's no scientific evidence that antibacterials are any better than plain soap and water. Now the ban only applies to antibacterial soaps and body washes used with water. Triclosan in toothpaste, clothing, and plastics are still on store shelves, though with their increased unpopularity, maybe not for long. Tell me, what's your thoughts on Triclosan? Let me know in the comment section below and use those Triclosan free digits to hit that like button.